anger. We all feel it. We all try to manage it in different ways, sometimes successfully, sometimes not so much. And uh, the readings this Sunday uh, deal with anger, especially the, the first reading, uh, Sirach. So let's take a look at uh, what Sirach has to say about how to manage anger. So Sarah is part of the wisdom literature. So let's let's quickly review uh, generally what, what, what wisdom literature is. And wisdom is not just knowledge and understanding, it's skills. It's about knowing how to do something. So it's your brain and your hands being attached somehow to do, to do uh, certain things in a good way. Now the ancients uh, used wisdom literature to uh, promote happiness. Happiness for them was doing what you were made to do, which is a thing you do. So, the, so it gives us uh, information on how to live our life better in a way where we can live the way we were made to live and so we can be happy. Now the Jews took this style of literature, which is these pithy sayings that to help us to understand happiness, but they, they redirect the definition of happiness to relationships and having a good relationship with God, having a good relationship with one another. So it's having the skills to be able to do this. And of course, as you know, anger can be a really a big obstacle uh, between relationships and it can get really in the way and it can be a very harmful thing for relationships. So oftentimes Jewish literature is going to discuss and talk about anger. So let's, uh, so, so what exactly is anger? Anger is actually information. So it's a good thing. Information is always good. It tells you that something is wrong and it also does something else. It gives you energy to fix the thing. Uh, whatever is broken, whatever might be uh, wrong, whatever the problem might be, it's to focus on the problem and, and to get it done that way. So I give the example of your dog chewing on your brand new shoe. There you are sitting in your lazy boy and you get energy to get up to fix the problem. So rather than beat your dog to death, <laughs> there are other options to uh, fixing the problem. I replace the, the, the shoe with a bone, close the closet door, put the shoes on a higher shelf. These are ways that uh, you fix the problem and uh, that, that you had. So, so uh, for instance, I, I needed to register the car. And in order to register the car, you need to have, uh, I mean, to, to inspect the car, you need a registration. Well, my registration form was expired, but I renewed the registration a month before. So the, uh, the, the, the vehicle, the, uh, the, the registry of motor vehicles never sent me the registration. Ah, so I can't get the car inspected. So I focus on the problem, getting the registration. So you go in line, you, you call, you wait five hours in line, finally a representative answers the phone, and you discuss the problem, you see what you need, and then you'd be very nice, and then they send you the, uh, the, the registration. So five days later, I get a letter from the vehicle of motor, motor vehicles, and uh, they give me the sticker, but no registration. I don't have the registration. Ah! <laughs> so again, my focus is on fixing the problem. So what I do is I call the, the motor, uh, the, the register of motor vehicles again, and and I wait five hours and, hey, hello, it's me again. <laughs> and uh, you fix the problem. So hopefully it's in the mail and I can get my car registered before I get tickets from uh, the parking meter maid. Uh, so that's, so that's, that's the idea behind uh, the, the, the anger is gives you information and also supplies you with enough energy to be able to look at the problem and to fix it. So that's the goal is to fix the problem. Unfortunately, however, anger often causes people to get hurt. Sometimes in our anger, we get, we get frustrated and people get hurt. And we call these victims. And of course, this is not a very good way of fostering relationships. And that's why our readings uh, deal with, with, uh, with anger because it can be a uh, detriment to our relationships with one another when we misdirect our anger and then somebody gets hurt. You know, my mother's favorite sitcom was Everybody Loves Raymond. And in every episode, there was a problem. And whenever there was a problem, everybody, everybody in the show ends up getting hurt because they create this big drama and nobody, and nobody really fixes the problem. They're all energized by, uh, by blaming one another and uh, everything becomes a big mess. And so this is, this is uh, what they, uh, people call personality disorders. A personality, personality disorder is someone that is unable to fix problems. They, and, and, and instead of doing that, they create a drama instead. And then, of course, they create, create victims. Of course, what you want to try to do is live your life that you don't want to have a personality disorder. But that's the definition of a personality disorder is somebody that, that is not able to resolve problems, but rather, uh, in, in, instead of solving the problem, they cause a drama and cause all kinds of, of victims. 
uh, you know, I live in a community where uh, with a bunch of guys, and I'm very, very fortunate that none of them have personality disorders. Things break. You know, think that uh, communication sometimes breaks down. Everybody's going in different directions. And uh, we understand that. And so the idea when, we, when something comes up, when something does break, when something doesn't go right, you, we, we, we concentrate, we focus our, uh, our, our attention on fixing the problem, which is usually very easy, which is very simple to do. And then nobody gets hurt. So that's the idea is you want to fix problems and everybody ends up friends and nobody gets hurt. And so this is the idea uh, of the scriptures this week. And we were reading through uh, this, uh, especially uh, Sarah, uh, the ben Sarah wants us to, to have the skill, uh, which is a skill that, that, that fosters relationships. And the one thing that can destroy those relationships is, is mis, uh, mis, misuse of, of our anger. Well, I hope this is very helpful. If you know angry people in your life or with personality disorders, maybe they can <laughs> use this video and you can send it to them. Uh, but anyway, I hope uh, this helps your life and your family and your friends around you to uh, be able to understand the nature of anger and how to manage it uh, much better in our lives. I'll see you in the next video.